Alright, so we're going to be doing a hangout with Santos Bonacci, and today we are going to be talking about the Taurus field. Hey, Bella. <clears throat> so, this is really going to be uh, part two of the one I did uh, five months ago with uh, Heidi Vandenberg called Astrotheology the Basics, part one. And so, due to not being able to get all my notes out the first time round, <clears throat> I uh, started putting some of the notes on the board the uh, day after. And I've had this on the board up here for five months, so I've been wanting to uh, get this out <clears throat> because it's been on the back of my mind. So, it is part two, and I thought I'd introduce it like that, or do it like that, and let the listeners know where to go to get part one because if you do watch part one you'll understand this much much more this is not really for beginners it's the basics but this is like advanced basics <clears throat> so i won't repeat and explain everything in detail here what we have here is <clears throat> the atom the torus field it is the atom and <clears throat> this would be the neutron and proton and the elect L electron. And so we learned that <clears throat> this is the trinity of creation in part one. And when you understand this trinity, then you understand all the trinities and all the theologies. This is atom, as the Egyptians called <clears throat> Atom, and they are one and the same thing. All is atom in this self-similar fractal universe. So this becomes in scripture. This is Thomas. See atom. <clears throat> so pay attention to the H because that's going to be important as well. <clears throat> Thomas is a twin. This is the twin. So, this is the key word, and then after this, there are two more key words to understand all things. And they would be Bel and Tor. Bel is Baal or <coughs> Bold. This is a Bold. L, Cirque, El, etc. All the L, Baal, words, ball, comes from this ball. But because it's a Taurus field, it is the, the root of Tor is very important as well. But the Baal comes from the center of the Taurus field. It's the hyperbole, bowl. And that bowl, hyperbole in Greek, <coughs> is in reference to thrusting out, energy being thrust out. So like in ballistic, ballistic missile. So because what comes out of counter space at this zero point here <clears throat> is uh, radial divergent centrifugal ballistic energy and then as it goes around and it passes the uh, inertial plane what they call the block wall then it becomes centripetal and, di and convergent so divergent centrifugal convergent centripetal <clears throat> and this is ballistic, and that's why they call the hourglass inside this Taurus field the inverse of a tor of a sphere, is the hyperbole, and vice versa. So that, that's the bowl, and it is a bowl, and it is also a bell, and the bell has. <clears throat> has always been associated with the tor, the bell tor. 
<clears throat> and so this is why this, this root word is very, very important, as you'll see. And, and the clock, it's interesting because in German, a clock is Glocke. So you replace the G with its interchangeable C and you get Glocke. And so we, from their word for bell, Glocke, we give this the word bell. Because it rings like a bell, an alarm bell. And they're always together, the clock, time, because atum, you could say, Tom is also Tim. Tim is Saturn, time, Kronos. So Timmy and Tommy. Thomas means twin. And it's red shift, blue shift. That's why Adam has red blood. From the red earth, Adam in Hebrew. Dam, dam. <clears throat> and that comes from atom because the atom atom is contains that root in red, Tom. And backwards, Mot is blue, mother. So he had the father and the mother. He had the two colors and the two genders. But everything is like that. In fact, they've got three. Every word has three genders. But I won't go into that right now. <clears throat> Just for this word. So, these are the apples. You can see this looks just like an apple. You put the little... And <clears throat> in French, an apple is called pom d'or, gold, or... That's door is the same as tor. These are the apples of gold, the Taurus fields. Dorado, gold. <clears throat> aura, aura means time. Time and space, as we learned in part one. So, this trinity, we know it in its most probably well-known uh, godhead in the Greek, Kronos, Rhea, and Zeus. So, just adding to what we did last in part one, this Kronos is time. Rhea is space, area. Okay, so now this this mother goddess, area, space, Rhea, you'll find her in the Nordic as Freya, Fry. And in Latin, Maria, Mary the Virgin. And in Greek, another word for her is Hera which becomes Hare in Hare Krishna. Because this Godhead is Radharani, the consort of Krishna, who says, Time I am. So, we go always back to time. Time and rhythm. Tom is rhythm, tom-toms. The drummer plays his tom-toms. Right? which is time. They're, they're a, diff, a different aspect of each other. So, you see the hyperboloid gives us the bull and the Taurus gives us the Tor. Now that Torah is the same in, in Hebrew Torah and tarot and it's rooted in rotate. This is a rotating field. It turns, turn, torn, tornado, torsion, talk, to speak, talk. Why is talking the same as mechanical talk in sound? Because it is, when you generate sonoluminescence or sound, you are talking.
And so these things create a storm, a story. They are stars. In fact, in the Bible, the word for God in Deuteronomy chapter 32.4, if I'm correct, I'm doing this by memory, is Tzur, T-Z-U-R, Tzur. God is a rock. This is the rock in Deuteronomy 32.4, the Tzur, which is rooted in Osiris. Osiris, the Azures. It's interesting because in Italian, Azur is blue. Azur. But Tur, backwards, is rot. And rot is red. So you can see blue and red in, in the roots of these, the three root words of all these Atum. And so going back over to here, we see time, space, and form. So Saturn, Rhea, and Jupiter Zeus are the trinity of time and space and form, causality, effect, cause and effect. So this would be the soul of the universe, Jupiter Zeus, Jesus, the soul, soul invictus of the universe. That's the soul, the apple core. <clears throat> There's always a core. Well, core is heart. Cardiac, cœur in French, corazón in Spanish, cuore in Italian, core, the apple core. So everything comes from this core, from the heart, and the spirit behind this, the spirit energy. And that's it. That's the core, okay? The core of the matter. And all of these trinities, you'll find that they all turn up in all theologies. Sattva, Rajas, and Tamas, the three doshas. So, Sattva is luminosity. And of course, this is related to Saturn, Kronos, the light, the black light. Kronos is always black because black is the source light, white is the false light. And so, Kronos, which is always also Kronos, Kron, color, it's light and color, Kronos. And this is luminosity. Rajas is activity, Rhea, radiate, get things done, Radharani, Hera, related to Horus, Horus, so that comes from our time, they so see Torah, our, golden time, golden time, that's what these are doing. Rotating golden apples in time, in temporal, mundane projection from God, from the mind of God, which is ultimately above this. It's rooted in this, but the Almighty God is not of this. All of this is telling us of the Demiurge, the twin. Demi means heart, Dem comes from Adam, because Adam is his twin, or well, he has a twin called Eve, but he's, he's, he's got a twin nature inside, we all have. And so that den is the, the root of all of this uh, atom, okay? And so, being red, he's half of red shift, blue shift, because in science, white light has no vibration, and all the seven colors of the rainbow come from the white light. And the first light that, re that breaks away from white and starts vibrating is red, red shift. 
but instantly is this blue shift. Uh, and it's just almost instantly, the moment redshift, the, the light starts vibrating. Redshift, blue shift happen instantly, but it's always red curves. That's why Adam's red, Eve is blue. Uh, Cain is red, Abel is blue. Uh, Esau is red, Jacob is blue. Esau becomes Edom, Adam. And all of this with Demian is the Demiurge, the twin system, the duality world, frequency, vibration on a material plane. Because the same as is in the world is the same as is in the heavens. Okay? Ketha and Malkuth, they are one and the same, just different vibration and frequency. So here we have mundane frequency, temporal, which deteriorates and decays. All frequencies here, they decay. And so there they don't. So it's pure. But here is the model of there. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. That's what Jesus means because Jesus is the material world form. He says, if you see me, you've seen the Father. So in the transcendental world, which is the same as this world, but there is no suffering, there is only transcendental activity. So the vibrations are pure and they don't corrupt or decay. But these apples of gold, <coughs> door, and Italian also calls them a pomodoro. So pom de apple of gold. Because gold is rooted in order, time and go and, and gold, it's rooted in time. And it doesn't perish in time. So, <clears throat> what we have here, the apples become the apus. The apus is the bull. So again, we go back to either the bull or the torus, the red shift or the blue shift, or the white. Because atum, the unit, is unit light. It's white light. It's white and black light. But when it starts to vibrate, electricity, L, then it's blue shift, red shift, blue shift, then it must uh, become the demiurge. And the demiurge is the only way that God can use as an agency to create a material form that will be caused from the spiritual world. It's the only way that God needs to expand. And God is all consciousness, all intelligence that we, we are all in. So we are God, but we are different to God. It's a dichotomy, a, a duality that is a fact of life, that we have God in us. God can never not be in us because we didn't create ourselves. And that spark of life and that soul of God is in us through this, through our atom, our anatomy, our ad men and, and there's many other words the thorax 24 12 by 12 bones of the of the thorax Thor well that's Jupiter because your Taurus field your tor you have an aura around you that's your Torah and your anatomy is based on and in the thorax you can see a Thorus field in your chest cavity, your abdomen, right? So that, and then that is attached to the 12 vertebrae called your thoracic um, uh, part of the, the vertebrae, the thoracic, it's 12 bones, 12 uh, vertebrae. Well, because tor is the number 12, see? And so, what we have is Kronos, the Creator. This is the Demiurge. Kronos, Rhea, and Tor, the Creator. And you'll see this root in many, many words. This is not just English. Every every language does this. And they might have a different word for Creator. And you might say, well, uh, it doesn't work in this other language. But it it will it will if you just pay attention enough. It will come back to these three root words. 
Okay, so what we have is uh, Rhea. She turns up in all of these words like um, here. Here, to be present here, is something in time, you see, and in space. So there you see how area has come into the English language. Uh, to bear, because she is the mother of all, all Eve, and she bears. Area, the year, Rhea. Era, an era of time. Again, time and space. They both interchange. They both give words which have both meanings, time and space. Dream. Yes, because she is Maya. Virgo, the giver of dreams. Dream. Red. Series, cereals, cereals, bread. She is the great one. React, the feminine principle reacts. Well, there it is, Rhea, hiding right there in the word to react, to reflect as the moon reacts and reflects to the sun's rays. To rare, yes, she bore everyone. And she reared them. Rhea. Ah. To be the pronoun. I am. You are. Time and space. Now, this list, I could, I've got a, a, an extensive one in my All Is Atum presentation, which will be released soon. So, uh, for the listeners, Violet and I will be releasing that very, very soon along with a lot of other material because uh, we have a lot to release. <laughs> so, the, the Atlas, the bull, this gives you April to open. And if you take this uh, as the sine wave and you start all things at the beginning with Aries, you will give the first 30 degree, thirty degrees of every Taurus field and every sine wave to Aries. Then we come to the second 30 degrees, Taurus, the second sign. And you start at the head, Aries, the cerebrum, the cerebrum. Taurus, the cerebellum, the cerebellum. Gemini. Gemini is from here to the Tropic of Cancer. Cancer is here. Gemini, the twins. The twins, why? Because here is one twin, June the 21st solstice, and here as well as the sine wave goes around is the other twin. And that's why Gemini is at the top. Cancer is at the top because the crab has only one way to go down. Down to winter. To the goat, Capricorn, which is seen from the solstice, winter solstice of the 21st of December, must climb up again through the equator where Aries is. And the glyph for Aries is the McDonald's trip M sign, isn't it? Dodge motor car. Shell Oil used to have the ramp. Aries. And that's the glyph for Aries, because everything begins in Aries, and this is a cross-section cross, cross section of the Taurus field. All the glyphs of the Dania come from the Taurus field, the Torah. And so the Pisces as well, but there's Pisces. There, there which is just a, a continuation of Aries, really. If you want to join those two together, that's Pisces, the last sign. So Pisces will be here. 
So what we do now, whoops, I've gone a bit um, radical there in my lines. So what we do now is we just apply the sine wave from my astrotheological presentations right onto the torus field. And so you'll see how the energy flows. Energy must be understood in a 12-ness. You can't just understand positive and negative, positive and negative. It's too simple, too simplistic. Energy is a 12-ness. Every wave has 12 frequencies, actions and passivities to it. And so this will be masculine active, feminine passive. Active, passive, active and passive. So then you have Leo over here, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. The reason why this ancient wisdom came down to us is to teach us that that's, this is how energy works. Fault forms, the notion forms, light waves, sound waves, they all start at the center of zero point. They go out to wave amplitude, go back to the center in their wave length, as the center in length, half of the wave. Then they go down to redshift wave amplitude, back to the center. And they do four quadrants as they reach the four tropical points, which is the Holy Cross. And that cross is the symbol of all theologies. All theologies have some form of a cross because it's the symbol of the wave, the energy, the frequency, the vibration, vibra. So, we see here, this is also named the ball, the Taurus, the ball, the ball, the apples or the balls of Apollo. In Italian, we have a, uh, a tongue, what do they call those tongue twisters? Le palle di pelle, le palle di pelle da Paolo. <laughs> I forget it now, but <clears throat> it's about the balls of Apollo because everything is balls, everything is spheres. Your torus field around your body and you are the core of your sphere. So it's all, and, and that gives you the word for beautiful, Baal. This is where Baal comes because he is the, the god of form and he makes beautiful forms. And see, so he is the beautiful god. He's not the good god. See, Jesus said, don't call me good. One is good, the Father in heaven. Because why? Because Jesus is the beautiful. The form is beautiful. It's not always good. It comes from goodness. Goodness always precedes beauty. Check out Plotinus, the Neoplatonist of the second century in his treatise on the one, the good, and the beautiful. The one, the good energy, and the bell, the beautiful form. So he makes beautiful Krishna. Krishna creates through his cows and his flute. Well, that's sonoluminescence because that's what these are, sonoluminescence. See? And Krishna is Christ, the son of God. The son? The son is sound, sonic, sonoluminescence the Son of God, and this is the Son of God. And we have this system in our bodies, every atom is like this, every galaxy is like that, they're all flat, gyral, spiraling galaxies. The solar system, supposedly in the Copernican system, the heliocentric system is flat, all the planets go flat around a disk around the Sun. And then of course, if we go to the true model, which supposedly Copernicus debunked, well, that's the Ptolemaic model that was around for 
eons of time and forever prior to Copernicus 500 years ago, and he named a flat earth with all the heavens above them, moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, that sun, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, the firmament, the crystal sea above, and the prima mobile. And it's amazing because that coincides with the biblical model of the universe and the Jewish Kabbalistic model and the Mayan and the Chinese and many others and the Aboriginal. I can verify that. So this also becomes the Kaaba, the Q, because all spheres, according to Walter Russell, are bordered by a cube in counter space. So you'll never see the cube. You look around in nature, you won't see the cube. You'll see spheres, spherical looking things like your eye and the moon and the sun. These are the incandescent parts of the, the core of the torus field. But you don't see the torus field. Sometimes you can. For instance, in the case of Saturn, the rings of Saturn, what you're seeing is, is the rings going around here, around a central sun, which is what Saturn is. But they all have these. They all have a torus field, and they all have the rings. You just cannot see the rings of Jupiter, which are greater than Saturn's, because they're not... Uh, the axis and the equator are not at 90 degrees. They're not perpendicular. So you won't see their, uh, <coughs> their rings. Saturn is perfectly aligned. And according to scientist uh, David Lapointe in his presentation on Prima Fields, so, what we have then is, as well, we have a caballo, horse, uh, in Spanish, caballo, it is the same as caballa, because it is a horse, it's Horus, the horse, and these, these, the sun is said to be like a horse, Horus, and it's, it's flying through the sky, it's a horse, with winged, like there's four horses, carrying the sun on the chariot. And so, in the Hindu Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavata, and it's the text of this. And so, it's because it's electromagnetic magnetic, uh, energy generating the sound, sonoluminescence. And so, the sun, the sun is also sol, sol invictus, which makes, which is in the root solid, and, and also soluble, you see? Because without the sun, there's no, no, there's no substance. Everything just vanquishes, you know, de-atomizes. So, and solution. Uh, the solutions that are, that are made chemically by the sun's interacting with the atmosphere are incredible. I mean, it's able to make uh, water, which is a compound and uh, chlorophyll, photosynthesis. And so you've got Saturnian words as well, which have the same meaning. So you see Horus and Seth, Satan and Jesus, they're both doing the same thing. So you've got saturate, Saturn. Saturn saturates all uh, physical forms, chronos. So you see, form is also here as well, because he's the beginning principle of form, time. But time can't do anything if it hasn't got space. And a husband and wife, time and space can't do anything unless they've got the principle of causality. And to make creation, bodies, this is body. So why Jupiter Zeus is the saviour of our bodies, our souls, soul. You see, it's satisfied. A true Saturnian is always satiated. A Jupiterian is very gluttonous. Saturnians are greedy, they're not gluttons. Jupiterians 
a gluttonous, not greedy. Okay? That's the, the fault and virtue. Vice and virtue. Sod. What's a sod of dirt? Well, it's satin. Earth. Sad. The Sadducees. Why were they sad? When I was Jehovah's Witness, we used to say, oh, the Sadducees are sad because they don't believe in the resurrection. The Pharisees do. <laughs> so that's why they are sad, you see. Oh, yeah, I've got a lot of leftover carryover uh, dumb dogs from the Jehovah's Witnesses. Saddam Hussein. Well, look at that. Adam. Sad, Adam. Damned. Dan backwards is mad, the mad race of damned Adamites. The state that comes from Saturn, who works for the state? The people who work for the Kronos, the crown. So he is stately, old man Stan, Satan, the god of this world. Well, because time, temporal time, is a god. That's why we have temples. The Jews go to temples, Masonic temples. Temple is tempo, time, chronos, Saturn, Satan, the crown, the crown that they work for. Okay, so they tell you, it's disclosure. You just got to pay attention and know your English. We see here, Baal, the ball is about balance. This must be balanced. So the ones who worship Saturn, Satan, chronos, the crown and work for the crown. Nothing personal, they're just they're doing business and they're going to kill you and take you to jail and everything like that for the birth certificate name because that's crown copyright. See? And that's the full name. So in my case, Santo Bonacci. If I lose the Bonacci, I keep my Christian name, I get saved by Christ. If I use my family name, which is known as a pay again name, pagan name, thank you, Romney Stewart, then I'm going into the jurisdiction of debtor. So the creditor must stay close to Christ and know his name. My name is Santo, that's my full and given name. I have no middle names and Bonacci does not belong to me. It belongs to a trust, an estate, and I am of that estate. So you see, why it's important why Jesus said, He who calls on my name shall be saved. Because he's telling us that in the Bible it's encoded how to be a sovereign and not be a slave to Caesar. And that is by not having the name. And just by Jesus' name we are saved. And that's what it means, folks. It means to know your true name and know who you are. So... This is, Baal gives us all. Allah. Allah is this Baal, folks. Apollo. This comes from Apollo. Apollo. The Baal. In Italian, Baal is Palla. Palace. Palla. Well, that's Palace Athena. This is Palace Athena. Athena is the goddess. This is the goddess because it's male and God is not a boy with a beard. <laughs> as, as the monotheist weaponized churches, the militaristic weaponized churches of Islam, Judaism, Christianity, they are teaching. God is beyond genders. There is not a gender, and yet it contains both genders. But God is People in Christianity, for instance, criticize uh, the Catholics for worshipping Mary and, and calling her the mediator. If only they understood that she was, they are right. They are correct 100,000%. The Arabic people, the Muslims know her as Fatima, Louvre, uh, the Lady of the Skies. This is because they know that nature comes from the Goddess. She generates. The father principle is the, is the spiritual principle. It doesn't generate into matter. You can't see any man, any uh, progeny coming directly from a male. Okay, so 
This is the generator. The generator. So we've got the Mars Venus red blue shift red shift thing going on here as well. Not only with Saturn and Jupiter or the Sun and the Moon. Even the Moon. The Moon is polarized. You've got blood moons red and blue moons blue. So Isis and Nephthys, they know all about science. It's all this it's red shift blue shift. And by the way, first refraction is red shift, the longest wave. <clears throat> then blue, and then the, and the next colour to turn up on the scene immediately after the Richard blue ship is green. Saint Patrick is green, Osiris is green. All of these green gods turn up on the seventeenth of the month before the the tropical points. Seventeenth of March, Saint Patrick's Day. Seventeenth of uh, December. I forget which one but it's. It's a green god. And I think it's the start of the Saturnalia. That's right. The 17th of December, all the way to the 25th of December. So, Venus. Woman, yin and yang in, in Greek, yin is uh, the woman. And yin is also jin. Okay, like uh, Japanese will call foreigners gay jinn. And, and also the jinn in Arabic is, is the demons. So it also becomes gen to generate. This is the generator, the generatrix, the matrix. So, and, she's, and this also, gin becomes kin. And so who are your kin? Well, they are your brothers and sisters that kin... Yin, Eve, your mother, gave you. So that gives you kind, mankind. She generates. She's generous. Genesis, Gen Isis. The genes of Isis. So where do we get our genes from? From Eve. So Atom, Atom gives a rib, an electron, to make another Atom, which he calls Eve. Well, that's called ionic bonding. Thank you, Bill Donahue. And Ioni is Eve. So ionic bonding is... The, when you read about Adam and Eve and Adam giving a rib, well, this, this is how atoms uh, perpetuate and propagate in the universe by giving ribs to make a twin which is called an atom, Thomas Didymus, a twin. So, the, the ball is also the cube, the Kabbalah. Kabbalah, same thing. That's why they always go around the Kabbalah in Mecca, anti-clockwise, it's very Saturnian. Supposedly a rock came from Saturn and landed there and they made a, a, a spiritual temple there. But it's the, same, it's the same square box, the cover that the Jews wear. And how to circle the cube. To, and that is why we have Gen, the generator, the number seven, in there. G is the seventh letter, and it represents the seven colors. Golden colors. White and gold are interchangeable. So this is the rainbow. God. The demiurge, the seven colors of creation. And so the square is always at 90 degrees, nine. And the compass is always set at 60 degrees, 69. So the compass and the square. One is a the square is unhealthy tetragonal radiation in astrology. And the sextile and the trine are healthy trigonal radiation in astrology. So they're teaching you about good and evil. The Freemasons, they tell you, black and white, checkerboard. We do good in the community as we pretend to be Christians and good people, but in private, we are doing evil. And they do do a lot of evil. They pretend to be something in the community 
and they're totally the opposite. It's this dichotomy that these people are born karmically, it's their destiny, it's their work, they're just doing their work. One day they will cease to exist, as the scripture says, one day you will look for the place of the evil one and you will not find it. So, what we get from Eve is Avatar, Savior, to have Taurus, where Venus, Eve, rules, is the sign of to have. Heaven, Eve, forever, time. Move. Magnetism, this is all magnetism. Mag in Sanskrit means to move. So, Taurus is about earth action, to move. Dynamic energy. Mars, on the other hand, gives us other words. R and L are interchangeable, so Mars becomes a malefic immediately just by knowing your language. And he is the lesser malefic. Male means bad in, in Italian, in Latin. And it also means apple, bad apple, malus. So is it Eve's apple or is it Adam's apple? We see it's both because it's redshift and blue shift. Redshift cannot do anything unless blue shift exists and green in the middle and then violet and magenta and all the colors. There's 12. There's 12 in the whole spectrum, but seven that we de differentiate as the whole magnetic. Uh, electromagnetic spectrum. Male. Mart, Marta. Interesting. This is this is twice here there's a key that this comes from Mars. First of all, Ma and Tia. Tia is Mars in Nordic. And it gives us Tuesday. Martedi. So Marta Someone who, who will get killed or fight as a hero for their cause, for their faith, for their religion, becomes a martyr. So, so Marty, Martin, what are those guys getting up to? Fighting some cause, being a uh, sporty, uh, a sportsman, athletic. Join the army. Mary. See the word army in Mary because it's Mars. Mars and Mary. Adam is madam. Lady is a lad. And the list goes on. Denise, Dennis. Thomas, Artemis. Artemis, Thomas. So, Tor is also backward for root. This is the root cause of everything. The Tor, the root. The Tori, the tree of life. The Toruth, the truth of life. The Torah must be truth because it's the same word. So, read the Torah. Torture. Life can be torture. Especially when you lose your health, which I've been struggling with for the last 10 years. More gallons, nanobots, chemtrails, dew. So what happens when you're a TI. So most people that know what that means, you'll understand. So you see, Freya, Maria, is the heart. Your ear, you hear with your ear and your heart. So you have 
two eyes and a third eye. This is the spiritual vision. This is the red shift, blue shift, physical vision. You have two ears. Where is your single ear? It's right there in your heart. So when you say things off by heart, it's because you heard correctly. Venus gives us veins, blue blood. Mars gives us art, the crafts of arts, the uh, martial arts, Mars. Arteries, red blood. Iron, copper, red shift, blue shift. This is the generator, the generator, you see? And <clears throat> so when we understand that yin and yang are interacting together, then we get this interaction here, sex. G becomes the 33rd letter. Second time round, G becomes the 33rd letter. That's because the Masons know that that is the highest degree of accomplishment because it's the start of a new octave. Because 32, 32 is the complete rays of the sun in the physical projection of the sun. If you do stargazing, you will always notice that you will get a cross in the sky. And then you squint your eyes or focus a little bit more and you get eight. The eight spoke wheel. The Dharma wheel. Dham. Adam. Then you squint a bit more you get sixteen. Then you squint a little bit more, and you'll see it. I do this all the time. I see the 36. I don't see 64, which is your chessboard, your DNA, the I Ching, the list goes on. That is too blurry for me, anyway. So, what you've got now is 32 rays from the sun. I'm trying to do that as artistically as possible. <laughs> okay, so so when you go around, the sun goes around the year and starts a new one, it's always at a 33rd degree. And that's what G represents. It's also the Greek third letter, gamma, alpha, beta, gamma. And that's the trinity. The trinity is, we have a rune in uh, Celtic runes and Nordic runes. Most of them have the last uh, rune is Ingus. Notice I N G, which is which makes the gerund verb meaning continuous, swimming, talking, Ingus. You see this? You see the the Freemasonic? It's a rune because they are runic. They're I don't know, Druids or Satanists, Luciferians. Every, everyone uses this science, but some use it for evil. Like a knife, you can kill someone or you can butter bread with it. You don't condemn the knife. And so people condemn all these numbers and always oh, 33 degrees and this and that. Well, it's just, it's rooted in nature. <laughs> you can't have it any other way. You can't have, you know, 31 rays. It's not going to happen. Jesus, Jupiter, Zeus, will not have 11 disciples. There will be 12 around the disc. There will be 12 posts. 12 apostles. And look at this. Fertility. The hero. Is that Hera? Rhea? God. Harmony. 
harmony, romance, sexuality, new beginnings. You see, so when we see the Star of David, oh, Star of Saturn, right? Star of Baphomet, it's, it's just like a knife or a gun. Uh, it, it, they are symbols, they are powers and, and magical uh, runes and, and magical energies. All right, so this is the presentation I'm going to release called All is Our Tom. Uh, I've got quite a few pages here. I think I've got, let's see, uh, 250 in this one and 250 in part two. But um, what I want to show is exactly what I've been showing here. I'm going to show some slides dealing with cover, the colour. There is redshift. Uh, sod dom. Our dom is red. We've got all of these red words connected. The heel is hell, the bottom of the body. The head is heaven, head heaved up. The sky is blue. The blue sky is always before the purple heaven, beyond. Green is earth, earth, heart, core, paradise, Midgard. Garden, the den of Eden. You see? And look at the word ardent from garden because it is burning garden. It's fire in the center of the earth. And and you see the Gehenna is down here, Gomorrah, Gehenna, burning red fire. The Gotterdammerung. Dumb, I need to check the etymology in German, but I'm sure that's damned. Okay, because this is God, Gotter. Dammerung is Armageddon. You see, so you see how all this below stuff comes into our language. The green line, why do they always have the green line? In England, every second pub was called the Green Lion Pub. <laughs> well, not every second one, but I saw a couple when I was there. But the um, exaggeration serves the point. <laughs> uh, Leo, green, the green chakra, the heart is green, you see? So soul for the creator, his colour is green, but he gets to green from red ship, blue ship, from his satanic red nature and his um, Jesus, Christian, good blue nature. And he blends them and makes green. So these slides, this is everything that I've been uh, talking about really is here, yeah. summed up in this, uh, the Union Jack really. Israel, ISIS is the neutron, neutral. The proton is Ra and the electron is um, L, the bell. So you've got red shift, blue shift in the atom. Israel means atom, all is atom. Isis, Ra and El. And you can see that gives you Jacob. The Union Jack comes from Ra, the sun. Uh, the sun is Jacob comes from Bacchus, which is all the sun. Uh, Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick. Those are the two equinoxes. Okay. So Isis, Ra, El equals spirit, mind and motion or emotion or spirit, soul and body. That's the trinity. And you can see here, um, Ra is right, is always red. See, right and left, royal and loyal. So you have Ra is red and L is blue, positive and negative light. Action on the left, reaction on the right. Atum, Atum Ra or Re Atum is his true full name. Ra Atum is the proton. It's in reference to the proton, Ra Atum. Okay, it's the positive side of atomic science. And an L, L became, uh, Ra got his special name and L also got his special name, but it was always in reference to the twin of electrical force, because that's God, it's the only force. Rational, 
emotional. Radiation, illumination. Gravity, levity. The ram and the bull, Aries and Taurus. Belial is the bull and El. Here on the left side you have fear, rage, war. They are all RA words. And on the left you have love, but you also have evil. Regal, legal. Raw, law. Rex, lex. The king and the law, the, ju the judiciary. Pressure and pleasure. You see how the, the R has a negative and usually the, the L has a, a positive connotation to the word and yet they are two perfectly interchangeable words. Pressure and pleasure. Pressure and pleasure. And you see how the Ra, Mars, is also Ra. You can see in the word Mars there. Uh, and, and, and sort of has a negative, whereas the, the L makes it soft, male, karma, calm, see, when you put the L in it softens the rage of the letter R, arm as in military arms, arms as in spiritual arms, grim, glim, Grow, glow, groom, gloom. This is opposite now. Bright, blight, opposite. Left is good, right is bad. You see how they flip? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mars, more, creates more room. Tor and root. Look at the word backwards. Which root are you taking? Well, I'll be taking that tour. You see that you've got to look at words within words. You eat your tea. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I just want to finish up with uh, some good slides. I'll just go through this so folks can just pause on them. I'm going to spend more time on this when I release all these atum. Here you can see Bale on the balcony. Why? Because the balcony is where you you watch bail and on, two words for the sun, set. See? On on is honest. Honest. Because the sun is always honest, always on time. See? On the veranda you watch the sun go down. And uh, under is DNA, Adam. Dan, man, the sun. Ecclesiastes 11, 12, 7. Sweet also is the light and good for the eyes to see the sun. My tabernacle is in the sun. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. Sol Ba. As you know, L and R are interchangeable, so Ba becomes Baal. So when you go to the bar, to hang out at the bar, the Sol Ba, you're going to worship Bar at his temple. Beer is the same root word. Beer comes from Baal. Yep. Alcohol comes from Allah. God of spirits. God of wine. Birra. Italian. Beer. R and L are interchangeable. Beautiful. Bacchus, the beautiful God of wine. Wine, vine, divine. You see? These are all the gods of wine. That's why the, the bar, who are the rabbi, are the temple bar. They work for Baal. We know that because bar, Baal and Bar are the same word. Wow. <laughs> look, at all, look at all the countries with Bell in them. Belarus. Belgium, Bulgaria, the Balkans, the Baltic states, the Balearic, Balearic Islands, Bali, Barbados, Bermuda, Belize, Bolivia, Belfast, Belgrade, Palama, Bloemfontein, 
There he is. I went to Tuscany and everywhere I saw vineyards, wheat, everywhere and olives. The oil, the bread and the wine. Because Tuscany is right under the Tropic of Cancer. Oh well, you know, I mean it's pretty close. Very hot in Tuscany. And that's where Christ, the Christian religion, is so rich because it's dealing with olive oil, bread, and wine. The three symbols of the sun's work on the ecliptic every year. It makes liquid and it makes solid food. Bread and wine, the symbols of that process. See, here you can see Bacchus in Tuscany. Bacchanalia. Wow. All right, I'm just going forward. These are all great things to meditate, meditate on, guys. Look at that also in Japanese means circle. Dai maru means big circle. So the sun, the moon, Ramu, Rama. Rama has his birthday in Aries, the Ram, every year in the Hindu religion. Sri Ram. It's Mary. Mary means circle. Sursay, the circle. You have to know your language. Twelve. L is always twelve. Every language. Lamed, uh, Lambda in Greek. It's always twelve, the twelfth letter. There it is. It's a Taurus field. Walter Russell's the picture. Wow. There it is. Magnet. Mm -hmm. And that's the Taurus field. Rotate. Door. The door. The portal to temporal existence and the door out to dare this all comes from Taurus field guys durable to adore the golden apples of God Dori in Japanese road these are the roads this is the sine wave the road that the Sun must travel rate also rate of rotation same word, a tear, to tear, red, a rod, this is a rod, it's a pillar, it radiates, it's a rudder. Okay. All of these words come from Taurus as well, yeah. terrific, to try, this is a trying device, this is how you try to live. The Eutaurus. <clears throat> there you go. We have a aura, which is a Torah. We have a torso. Well, that's the word I was looking for before. When I was saying abdomen and thorax. Well, what about the Taurus torso? The clitoris. It's a Taurus field. Trio, three, the trinity of God. Hyperbol, see that's the bowl, the bulb. Please read this folks. Wow, this is important. Here we go. In, in Old English, bowler means pot, cup or bowl. Well, would you look at that? This is just amazing. A flower bulb. Hyperbole. Well, that's the same word. Hyperboloid is a hyperbole. It's ballistic. It's when you say silly things. I told you a thousand times when you only, you only, told, you only said it twice. It's ballistic. 
a bolt, bolt of electricity. These words all come from the Taurus field, folks. We only have one language. It's called atomic atomology. That's why you study atomology, don't you? The meaning of words. See, it blows. It's a belt, dumbbell. It boils. Temperature, atem, temperature. Here you have the left pillar, Jackin, and here you have the right pillar, Boaz. Jackin and Boaz. And here you have tall bull words, and this you have bull tall words. And look, turbulence, table, stable, turbine, treble, tremble, terrible, double, trouble, bubble, babble, bible. See? By means two. Two bulls. Two Taurus bulls. Here, here it's blatant. Botan. Bot is the root for both. And Tom means twin. And these are bull Tor words. Butter. Turning the butter. Taurus. Better. Batter. Bitter. Potter. The potter turns his wheel. Buttress. Bull Taurus. Betray. Bull Torari. Bottle. Looks like a Taurus field. A battle. These are battling energy fields. Batu. En français. Beaten. To beat something. You see? Bull Taurus. Bull Tor. Bull Tor. Two Bull Cain. Ooh. Genesis 2. 422. He was a descendant of Cain and the son of Lamech and Zilla, and um, he had a forge. There's Tubal at his forge, the Potor. It's all the same thing. Guitar, it's tall, it makes sound. Zitar, guitar. Red Bull, Blue Bull, Herbal, Horace Bale. Festival, feast to Baal, carnival, eating flesh to the priests of Baal, valuable symbol. There's the gold, golden lion and the golden bull. The twelve golden bulls around the uh, molten sea in the Bible. Twelve oxen. Bowl. You see the Taurus field. There's the center of the Taurus field, and now the plant is having an orgasm, exploding outward. It's an orgasm. See? They look happy. Beelzebub. Because it's orgasm comes from orgon. Eh? Orgon energy. Zero point energy. Standing wave energy. The Bolsheviks. Bolshevik means majority. They were the, the the greater party in Russia, which destroyed Russia and killed 160 million Christian Russians by the Wall Street uh, Jewish cabal. And Bol means majority. See? Look at this. Great. Big. Bolshoi. Ballet. What a, ba a ballet. What's a ballet? Oh, yeah. You're making the shape of a ball. Taurus heel. With your torso. Strong. Bel. There you go. Greek. Bel. Beltion. Beta. Bel. To make better. Phrygian. Big. Oddball. Strong. Bolch. Proud. German. Stern. Look at these. Bull in, in French. Bowls. Well, look at that. Isn't that a Taurus field? Mm -hmm. You see, the green chlorophyll above in the air is one half. It's blue shift because it goes up to the blue sky. And the earth is red, so the roots are red, red shift. But that's a Taurus field right there. It's a bulge. Bulk. Tumble is another Taurus word. Tubular, more Taurus words dealing with sound. 
build. Yes, it's the builder. Christ Jesus, the Capricorn, 25th of December. He was a carpenter, carpenter's son, building. There's Krishna making the bull Taurus butter. Look at all the cream. Oh, look, look at Rhea. Cream. She is the cream, the cereals. See the milk, the milk ocean turning and turning. Turn Taurus. Saturn. Oh, what's Saturn doing turning? And what's Jupiter doing? Jupiter making Taurus fields. There's all the Tor words. This is only a short list, folks. Theory. Plethora, actor, creator, author, victor, torture, twice, <laughs> restore, janitor, inventor, grantor, doctor, curator, alligator, oh, agitator, <laughs> just trying to be funny, <laughs> no, it was a slip, genuine slip, <laughs> there you go, there's the model of the universe, flat, Dielectric plane, inertial plane, and energy going up, energy below. These are floating cosmoses. All galaxies look like this. All of them. Jets through the center, through the tree, through the rod in the middle. The tori in the middle of the torus field. There's Thor. He has a crown of thorns. Well, that would be the corona, the crown, because it's the sun. <laughs> Jesus and his 12 disciples, well, Thor and the, thor the thorax has 12 bones. See? Arthur and his 12 knights of the round table. Thor, Jupiter, Jupiter, Zeus, Jesus, and his 12 disciples. That's where you get your authority from. From yes. Arthur. Avatar. There's the thoracic 12 bones. And look, cervical, seven heavens above. Sir is ceiling, heavens. Cervello, the cerebrum. It's the high heaven, you see? And here down below, you have the sacrum and down at the, down at the earth, the coccyx, the lumbar. But all these numbers amount to, 20, uh, to uh, 33. They're all magic numbers of creation, all of them, all of them. Here you have four, four, of course, because the base of everything is four, the coccyx. Then five, because the number of man is five, built on the sacrum. Then twelve, because that's his twelve cranial nerves, twelve systems, biological systems of the body, etc., etc., and seven. Glastonbury Tor, it's a tower, the bell tower, you see? The glocker is always with the Tor. Deuteronomy 32.4, I mentioned that before, you know? Tsur, but Atsurro in Latin is blue, you see? So, it's red, but it's also blue, embedded, encoded in the word. That's where Lazarus comes from, Atsurro from blue. The Tsar, the Taurus field. Tyr, Mars, you see, Martyr, Martyr. Uh, now, I did, I've really diverged quite a bit, but uh, I'm glad because these are all good points. The cross, there you go, in Greek, the, the cross the, of Christianity, Stavros, Taurus, because it's a cross section of the Taurus field. The vortex has got tor in it as well. well backwards. Vort. Torv. See, and Eve is Steve, is Stavros, is Adam, is atomic. See, that's they're all interconnected, man. Everything is interrelated. Well, that, this word has got ton and tor both in it. Throne, they are thrones. Electron, ton, atom. It's always there, man. And this is it. 
And so this is Ken Wheeler's stuff. I'll finish with this. You see, this is the dielectric plane. There's the tree in the center of the magnetic field. And look at these faces. He's, he's actually filmed the torus fields making these fish faces. And look at Krishna, Jagannath. This is black Krishna. What's he doing looking like this? Like magnetism, because it is. See? This is how nature creates seeds. This is the New Zealand people, the Maoris. That's the dielectric field in the middle. The two eyes are always the two, the South Pole, the North Pole, red shift, blue shift. There is Jagannath, which gives us the word Jagannath. Oh, so Christ Krishna is called a Jagannath, because he is. There's another picture, looks like an emu here, see? A fish. Hypertrochoid, hyperboloid, this is from Ken Wheeler's book. There's the bowl, there's Bale, the bell, the bowl. And here is Ken Wheeler's, uh, here is Stan Tennant's model of the earth, the flat earth plane in the center, in the dielectric inertial plane. And then here's the torus field going out, spiraling out, divergent, centrifugal, and then coming back in as convergent centripetal rays, the hypertrochoid. Everything is doing this in nature, folks. Check out the work of Frank Chester and the Chesterhedron, the sixth platonic solid discovered in modern times. There's the Apis, the rock, the bull, the apples of Apollo, the arbor. These are, trees are called arb because it's Apis. I was going to say that the um, the bull is also the bill, the dollar, where Venus is money. Bull is bill. Yep, spot on. Bull market. They always want a bull market. They don't want a bear market, which is really, when you think about it, the same word. Yeah. Oh, the other meaning for... Bel is Belus, war. Okay. It's the god of war, Molech. The bell. See, this is Molech, and you see the bell? Baal's got a bell. It, because it's the, the, the golden bull of Baal. <laughs> it's always the same. The same archetypes, the same motifs in every culture and every theology. There you go. The clock and the bell. The glockenspiel. Yep. Mm -hmm. See the dome? It's the, the Taurus field. Dominus, the Lord, is the dome. Allah. All these words are the same word. Kabbalah. Horse. Happy. See? Happy comes from Apollo. To happen. Because this, these balls make things happen. Make things happen. They make things appealing. That they make things appear in physical manifestation. They apply. They are able. These are all words from the ball, the bull, the hyperboloid in the center, the tree of life in the center of the Garden of Eden. See, there's the horse, Horus, horse, leading the sun. There's the sun, seven rayed God, Samson and his seven braids, rays of hair. The thunder dome. These are the, the thunderbolts of Thor. Have you seen any domes in your, your area? Yeah. Where? Um. At the football, baseball. Where they've got a lot of balls. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the same stuff. Dome, ball, bale. That's why they get you to go to the dome and to watch the football. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And baseball. It's so base, but a lot of people go and watch that baseball. 
There it is, tornadoes. All things run like this. This is from um, Esoteric Science. There's a flat earth. The flat earth goes through our heart. Earth and heart are interchangeable. This is a bit low. This is right down a little bit. But it's the, the plane that goes horizontally through our body is the earth at the heart plane. The vertical, that's the spiritual plane. That's why this is a cross. That's how matter is made, spiritual and physical. Physical is always a disc-like structure. In It can be square, it can be other structures as well. Uh, depends how, you know, how much, what sort of uh, elements are in that system, how much iron, how much magnesium, how much chromium, you know. But this this cosmos, they've told us what it's like. It's like this. No mistake about it. So there's the thorax inside of the torso. Mm -hmm. It's also the throat. The throat is the is the thorax as well. You know, we emanate our voices from the throat. Yes, and mouth is backwards for t Thomas. Yes. Tom. Tom toms sound, and 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 tongue is T O N, atom, and tonsils, tongue, tonsils. Then you 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 eat your uh, din dins, which is another word for tom tom because D and T are interchangeable, and N and N, so your dinner, and it goes past your tongue, past your tonsils down to your tummy and your stomach mm -hmm. and your belly. So this is why tummy and belly. Well, there's the gods of gluttony are tunnels and bellows. Yeah. So if you serve your tummy and your belly, you're serving the wrong god. Well, he's not the wrong god. It's, it's just that these gods get maligned because they play their roles, you know, the, the Demiurge has to be evil and has to be good. It's, it's a beautiful world and it's an evil world and it has to be like that until we learn all our lessons, all of us, individually and collectively and then it all comes in the middle and we all look at each other in the eyes and we say, hey, now I realise you are me and I am you. And this is beautiful because I'm different to you, but I am you. I'm different to God, but I am God. And this is the secret that we need to learn by accepting Christ, which is the christened higher mind. Yeah, you said uh, veins is uh, Venus is also vain, vanity, is also ventricle, is also voice, vo ice, Isis, voice. That's all Venus. Yes. Yep. And yeah, and the throat you mentioned before, uh, for for Thor, well, the throat has the uh, vocal cords, and they are represented by Horus, the word of God. So, and the larynx is Osiris, and the lungs are Isis. And they understood that this trinity of God, the lungs, the larynx and the vocal cords, Horus, speak forth the word of God. Yes. The thyroid, too. The thyroid is also a, a Tor word, thyroid. And it's, um, the thyroid is connected to Mercury, which is dual in his nature. It producing estrogen and testosterone, which is the caduceus, the masculine and the feminine. It's a twin gland, and so is the thymus, which is another way of saying Thomas. So the heart is Tom, Thomas, the twin. So you look at the thymus gland, you'll see they look like two twins. And you the same with the adrenals. And so this twin nature is through the adrenal system. It teaches us this. Yes. So here are the, the uh, torus fields. They are donuts, you see, Don. All these are Don. And... and um, I'll be going much more into this stuff when I release this presentation. These are just snippets. So please, when you pay attention, you're going to get, see, transverse wave is blue shift, red shift. The longitudinal wave is black and white pulses and rarefactions. 
Black and white is the original power of the universe. This is just the effect. This is the temporal world. Temp, time, tin, atom, red shift, blue shift. This is the world of what they call delusion because it's temporal. It's real. It's not unreal. It's just that <clears throat> things there change. Here, nothing changes. Transverse wave is the Hertzian wave. This we would call the Tesla wave. There's the Roden coil. Interesting, Roden, Odin. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. he's, he's got 36 points around the wheel here, 360 degrees. I was going to make one. So you put 36 nails at 10 centimetres, or 10 degrees rather, depending on the size. It could be 10 centimetres, or sorry, 10 millimetres. But I should have said 10 degrees spaced out. You get 36 nails, and then you start your windings. And if you do one copper winding, you'll get a weak electrical charge. You see, this one has got a lot of winding because it's very thick here. But these are all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, look, there you go, 12. Turns out to be 12. Uh, so some of them, this one's packed. This one's really packed. This will have a big charge. But these are, you can run a rod of electricity through that and you'll generate a field and you can light up your room for free. Wow. There you go. My favourite words in all of this are motor and turn because they both have atum in them and tall. So a motor, mot is backwards for tom, and tall. You see, atomic torsion energy, motor. And then you've got uh, turn, tall and tun, you see? Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to go into this, and this is where I finish the the uh, the supernal trinity is black and white. This is the symbol of the highest trinity in the universe: black and white light. Black is source light; white light is force light. This is black light is dielectricity; white light is magnetism, moving to move. This one is rest; black. White is to move. It is, uh, it is feminine. Radharani, white, golden. Radharani, black. Krishna, okay. Tamas, tamas is that what I had on the board behind me before, and I was going to mention that it is the the uh, dosha. Was it the dosha or uh, what's the true word for tamas? Sattva. Would you like to look that up as I speak? Yeah. So we want to give people the right name for Sattva, Raja, and Tamas. So if you punch those three words in, it'll tell you what they're called. Dosha is different. I think Dosha is uh, Pitta, Vata, and Kapha. Gunas. The three gunas. Gunas. The three gunas. Okay, guys. So try and memorize these things. Uh, here we have, look at this, Lithuanian. Tamsa, darkness. Russian, tma, darkness. Italian, Latin, temere, to fear. This means to fear and darkness. Indo European root, tem. I wonder why that H is there, why like that. <laughs> so, Thomas, you see, the darkness, Thomas, black and white. That's why Thomas and the Black Madonna. You got Black Madonna, you got a Black Jesus. And then you get Blue Krishna. So you got Black Krishna, and then you got Blue Krishna and Red Radha. Radha is red. So it's this is the second trinity, water and fire. This is the material, physical world. Red blood, blue blood. Red shift, blue shift. Red pill, blue pill. Violets are red, roses are blue. Democrats, uh, <laughs> Republicans, red Democrats. Crats are blue. <laughs> you, uh, you, you said it backwards. Roses are red, violets are blue. I just yeah. want to say really quick too that my name is Violet. And I told you this, that, well, my name is Red Blue or Blue Red. Because, and, it, and that's how you make Violet is you get red and blue together. And because Vio 
is Vishnu, and Vishnu is blue, is Krishna, and Let is red, or, or light, and white, and light is white, and white is red, so, yeah, blue, red, violet. Yep, and L being interchangeable with R, that, that becomes yes. Ret, or red, because T and D are interchangeable, so the red is clearly there. And the V is always the wave of blue water. Venus. Uh, so that's blue. The V, Eve, uh, blue uh, as well. So, yep, it's all about colour. It's all about this science. Red and blue. The gods are always red and they're always blue. Red Satan, blue Krishna. You know, red Shiva. So... This is how I want to finish off because this shows how the universe works. There are the chakras of the discs of Krishna, of Vishnu. There you go, those disc, golden discs. That would be, you know, the whole Earth system. Mm -hmm. So there you go, Jesus. He's always red and blue. He's black or white skin, but he's always red or blue as well. There is atom in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. There's the atom, the neutron, proton, electron. All right. So, oh yeah, that harks back to the uh, ionic bonding, Adam and Eve. You see, he's a donor. Adon is the Adona. Mm -hmm. so, right. so it's not talking about woman coming from a man because we know that man comes from a woman. It's not, it's not literal. It's talking about how the world was made. When Eve ate the apple, she ate of physical existence. Like uh, when, when in the myth, when Narcissus, the narcissist <laughs> looked into the the his reflection in the pond and saw his narcissistic beauty. So when Eve eats the apple, Snow White, they are poisoned because this life is temporal and it is fleeting and ephemeral. It's not constant. It's not real in the sense that it is unchanging, everything is changing. So it's uh, an amazing world, religion is science and science is religion and I have all the evidence here in this presentation. So I think uh, the basics of Astro Theology Part 2 is finished with this and I think it is quite appropriate to finish with this PowerPoint presentation as well, which will soon be released. I have so much, as you can see, as I'm flicking through here, there's some staggering information. I have evidence here that all is at all is atom. Look at the tattoos on the Aboriginals in Australia. This is the Taurus field. That's the dome. There's the flat earth. You know, these were the Aboriginals. Wow. There it is. Nada means sound. And that is Adam. Adan. Sound. <laughs> and Nada also means nothing. Okay, in Spanish. What's, what are the, what's the Nad? Nad means movement. Look at it. In the Rig Veda, it means stream. In yoga, nadis are the channels of kundalini energy. The nadis thus are channels, tunnels, tan, all is a ton. It's also node. Nodes. Exactly. Yeah. Node. Isn't it interesting that you get tinnitus, tinnitus, tin, all is a tin. Tenacious. What's the tipanum? It's the ear. You see? The middle ear. It's also this ear here in this vault. 
Tin. You gotta add in tenacious. Oh yeah, tenacious, tenuous. These are all things that humans do. Look at the sound, the sound uh, meter. What's it called? Tonoscope. Tone. Ton. All is a tone. Right? It's a tune, tone, note. They're all the same word. Musical universe. And there it is. It comes from motum to mata, motto. The word, the word of God, the mouth. You see, there's 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 two toms in there, ton and tum. Mm -hmm. See, see, so look at all these the, the instruments that have atom in them. Tom tom, tan tan, tan dan, timbali, cymbal, tambourine, timpani. Trombone, dumbek, djembe, drum. Trumpet. Oh, the list goes on and on. <laughs> Tenor. To sing. Ten, ten. Wow. Oh, look at this one. Da maru. Maru, we learned, means what? Circle in Japanese. And, and they've got a... a Actually, when, when we used to tour J Japan with my music band in 2005 through 2008, we used to play at Daimaru, the, the, sh the shopping centre, which I, I showed the slide earlier on here. And this is Daimaru. Look at that. So, the big circle. And here we go, bottom. Isn't it interesting? As I said before, bot means both. And Tom means twin. There's your both twins. Your bottom. <laughs> and here is the guy who discovered the electron, Thompson. And here's the guy who did the first double split experiments, Thomas. Alrighty. Ooh, Illuminati. Odin's eye. Idiom. Interesting. There's Adam in the word idiom because we speak language, do we not? Mm -hmm. The goddess in idea. Rhea. Mm. It's all Tom. All is a Tom. I'm, I'm proving it with this, with this presentation. Irrefutable evidence that this is the only language that exists and that we all speak dialects of this language. Here's some evidence. I urge you to understand what's going on here. Okay? M and N are interchangeable and T and D are interchangeable and this shows you how. Look at this. Clear evidence. Tao, Deo. Theos, Dios. Theists, Deists. Thomas, Dominus. Tame, domesticate. This is evidence that they're interchangeable. Same over here. <clears throat> oh my. Dichotomy, Tommy. There is the goddess of the Phoenicians, Tanit. Always a tomb. The crooks ansata. Well, ansata happens to be an anagram for sat satana. Saturn. We come from the womb. We end up in a tomb. Tom. Check out these beautiful poems. Emily Dixon, of all the souls that stand, create, I have elected that one. When sense from spirit flies away and subterfuge is done, when that which is 
and that which was a part intrinsic stand, and this brief tragedy of flesh is shifted like a sand. When figures show their royal front and mists are carved away, behold the atom I preferred to all the lists of clay. Wow. And here is Sud, Surah 35. It says, Those who disbelieve say the hour will never come unto us. Say, Nay, by my Lord, but it is coming unto you surely. He is the knower of the unseen. Not an atom's weight, or less than that or greater, escapeth him in the heavens or in the earth, but it is in a clear record. Poem of Atoms, Rumi, O day arise, shine your light, the atoms are dancing. Thanks to him, the universe is dancing, dan, sing. Overcome with ecstasy, free from body and mind. I'll whisper in your ear where their dance is leading them. All the atoms in the air and in the desert are dancing puzzled and drunken to the ray of light. They seem insane. All these atoms are not so different than we are, happy or miserable, perplexed and bewildered. We are all beings in the ray of light from the beloved. Nothing can be said. There you go. And so this chapter here is dealing with etymology, atomology, which I won't go into because I have to finish, and this yes. is too long, and it's going to be released soon. So there you go. These are some beautiful last last words as we close off. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in, and we'll be releasing a whole bunch more, including all these Atom PowerPoint presentations. Stay tuned. Thank you. Thanks, guys.